We're following a developing story, a Gateway Community College professor now facing charges for harassing a student. Yeah, tonight, students say they are shocked to hear about what happened. James O'Toole of Cromwell is also the math director for Hamden Public Schools. News 8's Bob Wilson live tonight on the Gateway campus in New Haven with the latest on this story. Bob? You know, the word of the arrest spread quickly here on campus. Students were talking about it, professors, faculty members, all surprised by the arrest. They say he is, was behind bars, and he has been terminated. Once the, the allegations were substantiated, he was removed from the classroom. After a six-month-long investigation, New Haven police arrested 44-year-old James O'Toole for harassment. He was a remedial math teacher who taught one class a semester at Gateway Community College. He allegedly sent graphic texts and inappropriate Instagram messages to an 18-year-old student. Gateway says an active restraining order has been issued against him. He is not allowed on the campus, and they are assisting New Haven police in the investigation. We let the law take its course. The student is protection is our primary concern, and we respond accordingly. So our security and police officers have known about this and were a part of the investigation. Gateway students say while he's not well known on the campus, they are glad he's no longer teaching. I feel like sad for her. Like it's scary. You're just trying to get through college and get your career started and whatever, and now you have to deal with the teacher doing that. Like it's so unprofessional. So unprofessional on his part. Now, News 8 did talk with the Hamden Public School Department about James O'Toole. They say James O'Toole was the math director here at the school. However, he has been placed on administrative leave without prejudice because of an investigation done by their own HR department. They say right now it's a personnel issue. They believe none of their students were involved in this, none of their faculty and staff, and they say they can't say much more about it because it is a personnel issue. I've never experienced that here, ever. Uh -huh. I've always had great professional teachers. I've never had any kind of teacher ever say anything out of line, so I'm very surprised that act that happened so close, you know, I go here. A lot of people very surprised. Now, police saying in all in the six-month investigation, they had to serve four different search warrants, and they did have to have a detective go above and beyond the call of duty. Detective Soto went all out on this investigation, and they say it's they give him the credit for the arrest. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in New Haven, News 8.